Hello guys, this is Ben from Turbo Dynamics. Uh, we're going to show you a bunch of new features on a copy trail. Um, you will see there's some very exciting features uh, this year. And we're going to go through the settings and uh, give you a rundown on how it works. So right now we're turning the key on. Uh, we have a bunch of things on the display there. You know, we got uh, RPM, we got the wastegate, we got the boost. Got the air fuel, the temperature, and whatnot. You guys already know about this usually. Right now, running the Max 17 tune, and uh, this particular machine has a wastegate upgrade, so we can actually go higher boost than uh, than most machines. So we're gonna go in the settings. Um, as you can see, the little arrow, and then uh, the little volume sign. And if you see here, uh, we got closed loop enabled. Very important. Enable like, your closed loop if you have that option. You can select your cruise AFR, which I don't suggest you touch, your mid-cruising AFR, which I also don't suggest you touch, and then your wide-open throttle AFR. This is uh, important for your for your power. Uh, on pump gas, we recommend settings of 11A to 12. On this particular machine, we got 11.9. And then you can see your fine adjust tuning. That's an option we give to advanced customers only. Uh, it enables you to make tuning changes. So um, if you look here, uh, fuel adjust, normally you don't touch that. That's mainly uh, your overall fuel curve. So 100% means no adjustment. So factory, the way the tune is, if you want to pull 5% fuel, you can pull uh, go 95%. If you want to go to uh, add fuel, it's 105%, um, for example. So here you got your boost adjust if you want to go up in boost on your tune. So let's say you got a max 17, you can crank it up two pound, it'll go to 19 pound. Or you can subtract up to two pound of boost. Then you got your wastegate multiplier. Uh, that's something, it's, it's a little bit dangerous to test. Uh, we recommend that uh, you leave it at 100 and you play more with the boost adjust. If you cannot make the boost, then you can add a little bit of wastegate duty multiplier, but you go very carefully, like 103, 105% if you want to add, or if you over boost, you can go down to 95 or 90%. Again, 100% is factory tune. Timing adjust, definitely don't touch that, um, unless you have ratio. Here's a very, very cool feature, brand new this year, the boost timer. Right now, it's enabled. And on this tune, we have a max 17. Okay, we got 94 octane in the sled. And that means that uh, we can go up a bit in boost. We have a header as well, a TD header, um, which enables us to make a little bit more boost on pump gas. Okay, so here we got the 17 tune with a four pound increase. So that means it's gonna go up to around 21 pounds of boost. Um, the start speed is in kilometers per hour in this case. So, uh, which is about 70 mile per hour. Um, then the boost increase will start happening. So it's going to run 17 pounds of boost until it reaches 110 kilometer per hour or about 70 mile per hour. Then the boost is going to increase, okay, uh, in the duration here. So I'm going to put it back to 110. Okay, uh, the total duration, that means the time it takes for the boost to increase. So right now we've got 1500 millisecond, which is 1.5 second. So um, that means within 1.5 seconds, 110 kilometer per hour, the boost is going to go from 17 to 21 pounds. Okay, the rest is pretty basic. This is what is displayed on your uh, on your dash. You go save as default. We're going to make a run and show you exactly what it does in the run. So we're going to go full throttle. Watch the boost pressure on the top corner. Okay, boost pressure is there. Okay. Watch that. It's going to go to 17, and then it's going to climb when it reaches 110 km per hour, which is here, the speed, okay?
So as you can see, the booze went from 17 to 21. Now, let's say that we want to um, we want to put the booze in later. This is going to be very, very cool for people who are racing on ice, doing like a radar run. You want the parts come in progressively, or simply you don't have the traction, or the sled just like the skis lift. You want the parts come in progressively. Um, another example is if you have a lot of belt slip and you bang off the limiter off the line, you can make power come in more progressively, so you don't have to load up the the weights as much to prevent it from hitting the rev limiter. Another thing too is going to be very good on belts, belt durability, if you make the power hit slower. A lot of people talk about like quick spool, but really uh, you don't want to hit, to, to hit 20 pounds instantly. On most trail sleds it's too much, okay? So I'll show you if you want to go raise it, uh, meaning like the boost is going to come in later, you can raise the speed at which it it kicks in and you can also increase the time it takes for the full boost to kick in you can also go just two extra pound instead of four pound but uh, again be careful with this uh, when you're on 91 octane uh, you probably will want to stay around 17 to 19 pounds of boost I wouldn't suggest over 20 pound on 91 this machine has 94 octane so you can handle a little bit uh, more boost um, you know, you can do 91 with Torco, and then you could run about 20 pounds of boost safely. So, uh, enjoy these new features. Uh, this will work also on the race sled. Um, keep an eye out on the, the new Wazegate, uh, upgrade Wazegate tunes from Turbo Dynamics. They're, they're going to be like a, a game changer. This is actually one of the machines with the increased uh, uh, pressure on the Wazegate. And again, as you can see, we can run more boost than a normal machine. When you have a header, your maximum boost is around 18 pounds. So with this waist gate, we can go all the way up, all the way up to like 29 pounds. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, so now we're looking at the TD gas flasher, and um, you will see that. Uh, the settings are a little bit different, so we'll just show you the difference. Um, you click on that uh, on that icon right here, uh, which looks like sliders with a dot on them. And uh, as you can see, you got the closed loop here, pretty similar, uh, just a different orientation. Uh, still look, you know, a wide open throttle AFR target. That's the only one you may want to play with. Uh, I don't suggest you go above 12 again. Uh, so it's between 11, 8, and 12. Uh, 12 if you have uh, good fuel and 11 8 if you want to keep it safe uh, a little bit more power at 12 on the TD tunes okay so uh, you want to make sure the close loop is enabled as you can see now it's in blue which means it's enabled uh, in the fine tuning tab here you got to be careful make sure you click on it um, you got your timing adjust which please don't touch that uh, unless you're on race fuel and even then on race fuel you got to be careful with it um, the boost adjust, uh, if you want to adjust your boost up and down, you can go up two pound, down two pound. Uh, Ways gain multiplier, make sure it, it's at 100 um, because or else if it's at zero, it won't make the proper boost. 100 means that it's running the same as a factory map or the, the way we, we tune the maps. Uh, if you want to go up, go up in small percentages. So 102, 103, 105. Uh, if you need a little bit more boost or a little bit quicker spool up, but don't go overboard with it. Uh, fuel adjust again 100% means factory tune uh, in this case see we we showed you the boost timer in action so right now, right now you see it's enabled in blue um, we chose a start speed of 100 uh, 111 kilometer per hour which is uh, roughly 70 mile per hour and uh, the duration here that means uh, the time it takes for the boost increase to happen so at 111 kilometer per hour, the boost starts increasing. And 1500 millisecond, that's about 1.5 second, uh, exactly 1.5 second. And uh, so it will build that boost within that time frame. So if you want to increase it where the boost, you want to come in more gradually, you go 5,000, that would mean uh, five seconds. So it would take five seconds for the boost to build. This can be very good, like if you're doing radar runs, you get limited traction on ice, or if you want to, kind of get your boost near the top end and not like kind of get the intercooler hot right away. So I kind of like the 1500 setting for my purpose here. 
Uh, I went with a six pound boost increase because this particular tune, uh, it's actually a new tune I just made uh, to take advantage of the boost timer. It's a 15 pound tune, pretty quick spool, 15 pound. And so with the six pound increase, it brings me up to 21 pound. So again, like you need good fuel to run that kind of power, um, that kind of boost, I mean. And uh, you know, this, this machine has 94 octane, so we can get a little, get away with a little bit more. So that's pretty much it, guys.